Hi, I'm Louie. I'm a technical support engineer here at Solutions BT. Hi, I'm Isabella Sana. I am a senior support engineer. And today we're going to be going over um, how various Microsoft security patches have had impact on the Aviva software. After applying the Microsoft updates, installation of system platform and other Aviva software is halted at the end user license agreement screen. The installation um, cannot load the end user license agreement and essentially the installation is blocked. This is due to the security patches um, blocking the rendering of the WPF forms. On the left hand side, as you can see, there is the um, system platform 2020R2 installation page. Um, and as you can see, the form is not populating with the license agreement and you're unable to tick to agree to the terms and go to the next steps. And on the screenshot on the right hand side, um, you see the same issue for the Aviva MES software. As per the previous slide, the affected products are Aviva System Platform, Aviva MES, and also Aviva Plant Scada and Aviva Recipe Management. The issue is caused by the December 2022 cumulative Windows updates, um, specifically for .NET Framework, and as well as the January 2023 updates. Um, affecting Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10 Enterprise. Just please note that this is not limited to the above KBs. Um, there is a full list of affected KBs, which will be linked at the end of the video and in the description. Next steps. Microsoft identified a compatibility workaround for the issue and then made a PowerShell script to resolve the issue. To install the workaround, download the PowerShell script from the Microsoft link provided in the description open a PowerShell prompt as an administrator. You'll then need to navigate to the directory where the script was downloaded and then run this command within the command prompt. So once the issue has been addressed, what you'll need to do is then remove the workaround. And to, to do this, you'll need to open a PowerShell prompt as an, as an administrator. You'll then need to navigate to the directory where the script was downloaded and then run the command within the prompt. After the compatibility workaround is installed, the WPF based applications, which display XPS documents, should continue working as they did before the updates. There is an alternative workaround, but Aviva does not recommend it due to the potential vulnerabilities this KB may have. Aviva recommends applying only the primary workaround listed in the article. Here are some resource links you may need. So the first one we've been referencing throughout the video, and this one is in regards to uh, the WF based applications, uh, render XPF documents. The second one is Aviva's tech alert. So this is Aviva's stance on the issue. The third link is the technology matrix and in here you can search for the KB and it will show you information on the compatibility with it. Thank you for watching.